Hi friends, today I'm going to be reviewing and unboxing Holotaco's fourth anniversary retro collection. I got the collector's box, looks like a VHS tape, it is so cute, and the on-the-go retro bag. Uh, if you haven't been here before, my name is Sarah. I love nail polish makeup and am a giant nerd. Thank you for coming to my channel. Today is all about nail polish, so let's get started. First, let's look at the box. So first things first, it is retro. It looks like a VHS cassette tape. It is limited edition, fourth anniversary collection, 2023. It is adorable. So we have Holo Taco in holographic on the front with these wonderful, very 90s col uh, colors. Um, and I love, just love the details on this. It is adorable. Here's this part up close. Now the back looks like a VHS tape back. Two thumbnails up. <laughs> um, it's adorable. So I'll just read you the back and we can talk about it in a second. So be kind and rewind it back to the 90s where the future was bright and movies made for a legendary Friday night. It's Hollow Taco's fourth anniversary and we're celebrating by throwing it way back. Dial up your besties and flip on the limited edition 2023 Hollow Taco Retro Collection for a fresh colorful mani that'll make others jelly. Featuring five bright jelly-based holographic polishes, this collection set brings big box office energy. We made sure our nail painting went direct to video. So that is the description on the back. So down here we have, um, you know, on a normal VHS tape is the, you know, Miramax Presents, blah, blah, blah. This is the Holo Taco Presents. Holo Taco Presents the 2020 anniversary collection <laughs> it says anniversary and a an very collection little typo I think it makes a box special but that's just me um, featuring be kind rewind life in plastic high def anti-hero and box office bomb one of my favorite parts of this box is if you're a hollow taco fan or nerd and you're on the Holo Taco community group, um, there's something called Holo Taco Detectives simply calls them. And it's basically these people who try and look in the backgrounds of her videos, of her podcast video, and see if they can't see the colors of the new collection. It is, they're quite funny. And sometimes they're right on point. So it's, it's really kind of funny. Um, this one says, uh, warning, the Holo Taco collection set is distributed solely for Holo Taco in celebration of its fourth anniversary. Holo Taco does not endorse uh, the author unauthorized distribution of the collection or its contest by third party Holo sellers for profit. Violations will be investigated by the Hollow Taco detectives. <laughs> so there's nothing really that they're going to prosecute or anything like that. Just the Hollow Taco de detectives will find out about it. It's hilarious. Okay, so that is the collector's box. Let's open it up. Oh, I love this. I love this tape. It looks so good. Oh, and then the back. It is so cute. Okay, put this for here. So when we open it up, it is a magnetic enclosure. We have play, pause, and paint. And here are the colors. Look at the inside of this. It's got hollow everywhere. Oh, I love it. Let's look at the pit, like the colors real quick. Little tip, if you have a hard time opening these boxes, which I do, take a wood stick stuff it in there like so it pops right open I tend to chip my nail polish quite a bit so uh, that way I don't this one is anti-hero it's a beautiful purple jelly polish with holographic glitter inside very pretty Any kind rewind which is this sort of like light blue Jelly with holographic glitter. Oh, 
This one is high def. This is almost this like highlighter yellow. I really do like this color quite a bit. It's very different than what um, I usually see in yellows, but I really like it. Next we have box office bomb, which is this orange. Again, orange jelly with holographic glitters inside. Very cute. And then my favorite one, I love pink, which is life in plastic. Look how pretty that is. And now that we've unboxed the polishes, let's hop on over and look at a swatch wheel and see how they look. So here is the swatch wheel. So let's start over here. So here's Be Kind Rewind. And all of these are in one, two, and three coats. So this is one coat, two coats, and three coats. These are all holographic jelly polishes. So jelly polishes are intentionally sheer on the first coat and tend to build up to full opacity in three coats. So this one, pretty sheer, getting better and pretty opaque. So on the second coat, probably showing some visible nail line. Here's my favorite, Life in Plastic. This is very sheer on the first coat, getting there on the second, and pretty opaque on the third. I'm wearing mine in two coats here. And you can see a visible nail line, but what you can also see is some ombre effect, and that's because I have discoloration in my nails. So that's why it looks pink at the at my cuticle and sort of orangey at the tip. I don't mind this look, so if you do mind showing discoloration, if you have some, maybe put white underneath or maybe some nail blur um, or a smoothing base. Um, nail blur is kind of like um, foundation for your nail. Uh, it just gives it a generic beige base for uh, for polish to go on top of. Uh, Cupcake Polish has one. I'll leave a, it in the description down below if you're interested. There's no affiliate links or anything. It's just a, a product that I like. Okay, and then here we have High Def in the first, second, and third coat. The first coat is more sheer than this. I think I used a thick first coat. <laughs> All right, we have Antihero, which sort of changes color uh, as it goes on. So we have this more lavender color, and then we're starting to get deeper, and now we get this sort of deep purple. And here's Box Office Bomb, one, two, and three coats. So these colors aren't in the collection. So I was watching Simply Nail Logical on her live the other day and she did layering. So this is um, Be Kind Rewind with High Def to make this sort of grass green. And this one is Antihero and Life in Plastic which makes this sort of like really pretty pinky purple. And then we have a pastel red-ish which is box office bomb and I think life in plastic. So that's really nice. The other thing I wanted to show you is something called a jelly sandwich. So these, this is box office bomb, be kind rewind and life in plastic, but they're all a little different. This one is a sandwich of a box office bomb, solar unicorn skin, and um, another layer of box office bomb. Solar Unicorn Skin is a hollow taco topper. Looks like this. It's this sort of um, orange, yellow, shifting, flaky. And then we have Be Kind Rewind with Solar Unicorn Skin, which is another hollow taco polish, um, which is a blue flaky. And then my favorite one is life in plastic but it has cosmic unicorn skin which is a like purpley pink that sometimes shifts to green unicorn skin 
So I'll put up some more close-ups with flash on these ones, but hopefully you can see that um, there's just more depth. They're op more opaque as well, but there's just more depth to these ones. Okay, and last but not least, the on-the-go bag. So, this came out with the Retro Collection. It is also limited edition. Uh, it is a nail polish bottle on-the-go bag. Let's take a look at it. So, we have this wonderful Holotaco logo, and if you can see, there are embossed, not really embossed, but like like little emblems, little uh, things all over. So, there's the Holotaco logos, the CDs, all over the bag and then we have the holo taco logo zippers let's go ahead and unzip and see what we got in here so the one thing that i really like about these on the go bags is that the insert is removable so this insert holds uh 12 holo taco polish bottles so um i have one right here that's not this is a uh, party punch so this fits perfectly in the box in the uh, styrofoam insert so which i love that it's it's removable because i don't travel with my nail polish all that often so this is going to be my new makeup bag because this is amazing I love the colors the other thing I really like about this is it has a pouch up here for storing your nail art tools like your brushes and your dotting tools so in in my opinion this bag is just chef's kiss I love the colors I love the way it feels it feels high quality which I really appreciate and have come to expect from Holo Taco. When it when things start to feel cheap is when I stop buying stuff. I mean this on the go bag on its own is $29 which kind of a heavy price tag but it feels so luxurious and I really appreciate all the thought that came into this. In conclusion I am in love. Oh I am in love. Um, I love the the jelly polishes they really are just so sparkly and so something special and I think they're perfect for the summer they're perfect for like 90s retro nights they're just so fun um, I wore life in plastic to the Barbie movie and man it went with my outfit my, my eye makeup it was a great time I really really think that this collection is something special. As for the bag, do you really need it? Probably not. Not unless you're going to be traveling with your polishes and you want to keep them safe and all you're taking with you is Holo Taco polishes. It's $29 on its own. If you don't need it, would I recommend it anyway? Oh sure, because it's adorable. And if you have makeup like me, I'm just going to put my makeup in there. But again, it's $29, you know, it's a little spendy, but that's okay. One other thing I really wanted to mention was the, as of this recording, they still had the whole bundle. They had the Holo Taco collector's box along with the bag, along with all five of the jelly polishes in singles. I really appreciate that they started increasing the stock of these launches. Uh, when I first got into Holo Taco, it was barely early on in its inception, because uh, I was watching Christine from Simply Nail Logical uh, every week on YouTube, and she would come out with these new collections, and I would feel like I had to purchase the collection right away, because otherwise I would miss out. The first collection that I was interested in was the rainbow collection and I missed out on the box just like that and I got two of the seven colors that was all I could get at the time because everything else was sold out. She's since made that a, uh, I don't think it was ever a limited edition, it's always a standard collection, but it was 
sold out so quickly. So the last couple of launches, she's been in stock for a while before the limited editions went out. So it's probably safe to say that you can get your hands on something. Um, so I really appreciate that about the new launches. Anyway, I hope you found this fun and maybe a little bit helpful. Hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.